There are many places in Erie County that have interesting names, but one name could stick out as being the most intriguing of them all. Our John Last wanted to check out this place, but he got more than he bargained for in this edition of The Last Word. I received an email from a viewer who told me about this place in Erie County called Devil's Backbone. He says it's one of the highest points in the county. It's a nice day. Let's go find this place. Before we leave, let's hop on the computer to do some research. Wow, I'm learning that there's three places in Erie County named Devil's Backbone. Well, let's find them all. The first location is easy, Wintergreen Gorge near Penn State Barrend. I ask the first two people I see on campus if they have been to Devil's Backbone. They agree to take me there. So we're going to hike a little bit upwards towards the gorge. We're going to see a really good cliff view. And then we're going to turn right. And as we walk through the top of the mountain of the gorge, it's going to open up really wide. We hike uphill for maybe a half mile, trying not to trip on the many tree roots on the trail. The effort is worth it. We made it to Devil's Backbone. The tops of the large trees are below us, and out in the distance, we can see Lake Erie. It's beautiful. Wow. Devil's Backbone number two is in West County, along Elk Creek in Girard Township. What do you know? It's on GPS. However, the GPS takes us to a remote place off South Creek Road. I wouldn't know where to begin to find a path. I end up at a business called Wilbert Funeral Services. I ask employee William Lannon if he knows about a nearby place called Devil's Backbone. He says, absolutely. One of my earliest memories going down to Devil's Backbone was a. Uh, I think it's a folklore story. My grandfather told me about uh, a young, um, young girl and her grandfather walking on top of the, the cliff there. William tells me Devil's Backbone is at the site where the old Gudgeonville covered bridge was located before it was destroyed by arson. William says the jagged edges of the majestic cliff looks like a Devil's Backbone. I agree. By the way, this is a feel-good last word segment, so I won't tell you William's story about what happened to the little girl and her grandfather. Here's Devil's Backbone number three, South Shore Drive in Erie, now a vacant lot leading to a bluff overlooking Presque Isle Bay. Patty Sperry grew up in the neighborhood and has many memories. Well, for one, I always wanted to climb down the backbone, which is just a big gully, and I was forbidden by my mother. With the last word at the third Devil's Backbone, John Last, Erie News Now. Each so different. I wonder if John's going to be getting emails of people telling him, hey, I tried out this location or that location. Well, if you do, be sure to send him a message. We'll be right back.